Hello, everybody, and welcome to Seven Days to Die Alpha 18.2, where we are beginning a series anew. And that begins with some quest tracking that we gotta go and knock out and get some basic necessities. But uh, yeah, welcome back to Seven Days to Die, everybody. Hopefully, y'all are all having an absolutely incredible day. I'm doing good because I am excited to get things rolling yet again. I know that we started an Alpha 18 series a little while ago, but it's honestly been so long since I last played that one. I want to start from scratch and I want to stay steady with this one. So make sure you subscribe with that notification bell hit because that's exactly the plan from here on out because we've still yet to fully indulge in all the wonderful things that, uh, whatchamacallit, Alpha 18 does have in store. And, uh, well, I'm feeling indulgent today, baby. Maybe? And that begins with us actually spawning pretty close to a town over here, which isn't too bad. From here, though, let's make sure that we just go ahead and grab ourselves some of the necessities that we need to get things going, which luckily should not be much. Just want to knock out this basic quest because then that will actually point us in the direction of the nearest trader. Traders are not like the ones who kind of stab you in the back, although they can sometimes be douche canoes, especially with their outrageous prices. The traders that I'm talking about, they, they trade goods. You know, they don't betray. How about that? Now we got to plant... Now we got to craft some plant fiber pants and a shirt. I like pantalones. I like shirts. Let's get it going. But in case you boys and girls are new to seven days to die, say hello to my little friend. Or should I say big friend? Because we are currently in a massive, randomly generated open world where everything is destructible, we can build, and even though we've yet to encounter them, there are zombies awaiting us. And some pretty cool stuff that we can craft as well. But yeah, there are zombies that are gonna come knocking on our doorstep quite literally around every seven days. That's when we gotta worry about, well, this massive blood moon horde coming. Some of the biggest numbers of zombies imaginable within the game. Specifically, zone in on where we are. And, well, they try to kill us. And you know me. I like staying alive. So that's going to be pretty much what we got to do. Ideally, I want to build. This is going to be one of the end goals of the entire series. A massive, massive base from scratch i don't just want to build on top of another base we might need to kind of just reinforce an, an existing structure for our first run of the day seven mill right i gotta find a feather bro where we got some feathers cock a doodle do i saw the chicken back there but i want to kill no chicken i'm a. Uh, I love me some chicken you know i'll save i'll save the chicken killing for well later oh already a military outpost Am I blind? How am I not? There you go. Finding a bird's nest. But scattered throughout this world are all, are all sorts of buildings, points of interest, and some of which are very interesting, like that military camp over there, where we can go ahead and loot up with some really good stuff. And uh, that's definitely going to be the game plan from here. Also, I got to grab a couple more small stones. I'll go and break this rock over here so we can collect a little bit of that. But yeah, it's nice that we spawn so close to a town right off the bat. We'll definitely be able to loot up some of the locations around these parts here and get some stuff there. We also need to craft a wooden frame block. We got to place that. We got a note from the Duke. Oh, did this guy go to Duke too? What's this? I can't read it. I'm trying to read the note. Okay, just says, just a friendly reminder that you pay on time. Every time or there will be consequences. Next time you won't be so nice. Thanks for the gear, but you still owe us. See you soon. Oh, yeah, that's the guy who, like, mugged us. That's how every game starts. We get mugged by the Duke, so to speak, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, let's continue. We got to go and actually toss this wood frame down. And this is the upgrading process we're capable of doing within seven days to die. Pretty much, uh, there are certain types of blocks, like wooden frame blocks, that are upgradable. We can actually upgrade it even further, but I'm not going to do that. So, uh, even though the quest is called Start a Base... This is not going to be my base. It's just a little block. The, just, the, just a little block, you know? <laughs> Luckily, we got enough here to get this campfire crafted up. That'll be another good thing we'll be able to take advantage of. And honestly, I will put it on this block. This is will be this is our base right here, ladies and gentlemen. White River Citizen, you've proved to be capable with much potential. We marked your map with the nearest White River Outpost location. Only 900 meters away, so honestly, not too far. 
Although it's still, uh, we're rocking a skip out of here. Maybe we'll slowly make our way over there, but until then, I do have priorities. I do want to get to that trader, because he can actually give us quests, which is a great way of getting loot. Especially early on, but, well, another great way of getting loot is actually looting. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. Especially with the presence of this location. We just gotta be careful. There's all sorts of landmines out here in the front. Not trying to hit those. Uh, oh, hello, piggy. You're chill, right? I always forget if the boars are chill or not. They used to be pigs, now they're boars. At least I think they used to be pigs. I don't know, it's been a minute since they were potentially pigs. Maybe I'm crazy. I've been playing this game ever since the first playable prototype, right? All right, what up, body bags? Oh my. They're digging a mass grave out in here. That's not good. Oh, hello. We got, to, oh, some gas barrels we could search up for now. Boop. Oh no. Honestly, maybe we could get them. Oh, hello. There was a lot more people in there than I expected. I know that I shouldn't be doing this, but if I do right click, right? So this is a PC game. I can actually use a power attack. However, the power attacks are a bit sus. They do have a greater chance at knocking people down, which personally- Oh, baby! Head explosions! They do have a better chance at knocking people down, but our stamina does not regenerate as efficiently. Oh my god, I'm just doinking this guy over the head. Ooga pooga! I am Caveman Star! Ooga pooga! This is my tent now. And yeah, it's a decent tent. We got some gas barrels, which, uh, are filled with shattered dreams. Ooh, I heard zombies. I'm not trying to get stuck in a little, a little tent like that, dude. Not trying to get cornered like that. I don't know where I heard that zombie from, but I know for a fact that this is a great location for us to loot up. Oh, hello! Okay, he's on the other side of the tent. Alright, let's deal with you, but yeah, I just... Okay, hello. We playing peekaboo, ring around the rosy? What's your game of choice here? Where is this? Oh, my god, hello. Oh, don't hurt me. Can you just hurt the tent instead? But yeah, game plan is... We gotta get a game plan. Obviously, end goal, big end game stuff. I wanna find some of the best locations, dude. I wanna find that shotgun messiah factory. Ow! It's literally a weapon factory we can loot up. And I love looting it, man. Especially because it can have some prime loot inside of it. But besides that, another great thing that I wanna do, like I said, make a big old base. Ideally from scratch. Oh, hello. You are not dead, are you? No, he's. Oh my god! There's a car! Couple of them! Oh my god, he's a runner! Okay, sometimes they run, they can actually get enraged. I think that's a new thing that was added in Alpha 18. Oh, hello! Just doinking you over to Noggin. So we gotta be careful, because sometimes they will Hulk smash. Oh, what was that? The pig blow itself up! Okay. I thought we were getting attacked from behind. Nope. The pig is just being a derp. Let's continue. And Noggin, this dude's Noggin in. Noggin is Noggin in. Yeah. Yeah. We continue clearing out this location. I mean, it's a good start, man. Military camp. Ooh, right off the bat. Let's bag it up. I just let him kind of chill out. Big it! Listen, I'll whip out the right click power swing sometime. Just gotta be careful with him. That's always something. Army truck. Oh, you know it's about to have some good loot. Eh? Eh? Oh, I hear zombies. Ooh! Nice, we got some armor. Okay, problem with the armor is if we equip this, and there's a lot of intricacies in Seven Days to Die, in case you don't know, is that it does drain our stamina from, not drain it, but we regenerate stamina slower. Which obviously sucks, but on the bright side, it's armor, which obviously is nice. Oh, hello, I knew I heard one of you down here. Alright, let's take you down one by one. So yeah, oh, I want to see what's in there, but yeah, our main focus right now, is just kind of take people out one by one. Oh no. How did I not get him that time? Should have doinked him right over the noggin. Come on, buddy. Come on. Hey, hey. Come on. There you go. Marvelous. Big hit. Oh, I whipped it. Come on. Come on. Oh. He's getting mad. He's getting big mad. Ooh. Oh, I accidentally ran too close. Too close to the sun, baby. All right. And now I'll continue knocking his noggin in. Oh, no. There you go. These guys, I mean, the good news is they give us more EXP. And EXP is going to be good. That's going to help us actually get our next level up. And actually, we got some perk points right off the bat over here. So, ooh. We're going to have to allocate those. But yeah, there's all sorts of perks over here that help us with stamina, weapons, the damage that we inflict, how much loot we can carry, how lucky we are when it comes to finding loot. All sorts of intricacies like that. And the core of... Hello! Hello! That's a spider zombie. No, thank you. I'm moving away. Yeah, there you go. Oh, my God. How does he descend that ladder? Okay. I, I think that he can jump at us. 
It's been a minute since I encountered one of you. Hello, spider zombie. Let's just. Ooh, he can jump. He can jump. Okay. 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 Ooh, yep. Yep. He's a jumper. He's a jumper. Oh, he's a runner. Ooh. Maybe I could get him to run into a landmine. How about that? Eh? Come on, landmine. Ahoy! How are you running? Around? He's running around the landmines. He's big brain. Oh, he's big brain. He's jumping over me. Okay, hold on. This is maybe where I forgot to equip the bow in my inventory. I wasn't expecting to have to use it. Come on, run over a land. Where'd he go? Oh, there you are. Yeah, he is. Okay, well, he has a little animation where he, like, prepares to jump, so we can kind of prepare for it a little bit, right? There we go. Come on, continue hitting him. Let's make sure we don't run into a landmine by ourselves. And the good news is when he does that little hop, he usually doesn't do damage. He's just kind of closing out the distance. There you go. Man, I'm, <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of spiders IRL. They spook me a little bit. I know spiders are bros, though. You know, they eating all the flies and stuff like that. Hello, weapon bag. You're a bigger bro, though. What you got? Whoa! You got weapons. Although no guns, we do have a crossbow and 15 bolts for it. I think the crossbow is already going to be a big improvement over the bow. Doesn't shoot as fast, but I'll take it. We got a little bit of a food supply, so that's nice that we could establish that. I'll get rid of the wooden club, establish the stun baton, and okay, dude, big ups already. But yeah, we got a nice little food supply, food and water. Obviously something we got to worry about. We just started out the game, though, so shouldn't be too big of a concern yet. But we definitely want to get a steady supply. I definitely heard a zombie, so... Oh, they were hiding in there. Little scientist. I don't know what she was doing in there, but she was doing something. Woo! Love me the stun baton, too. Oh, chicken can literally electrocute the zombies. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, my God. That guy started uh, speeding up a little bit. Come on. There you go. I sentence you to death by electric stick. Although it's not doing the most damage besides the electricity. That guy dropped dead back there. And so did you. You're actually dead, right? Okay, just want to make sure. Let's take out Mr. Hazmat over here. Then I believe this military camp should be entirely looted up. And uh, all will be good. Come on, zombie. There you have it. Nice and dealt with. And there we go. This military camp is now ours. And uh, speaking of loot, our inventory, you guys can see, is starting to fill out rather nicely. But that's not nice. That's bad. So I think we want to go and grab a perk over here. Right? And I reckon we want one. I think it's under strength. I thought I just heard, like, a weird noise. Uh, it's under strength, so we can actually hold more loot. I'm personally a lootaholic, so I kind of like that. We can also get the Tyrannosaurus perk over here, where, uh, whatchamacall, we actually use less stamina when attacking. I'll invest in a little bit of that, and honestly, there's a little, a couple of agility perks, too. Some basic ones. Nah, I'll, I'll get a level of, uh, I'll level up my pack mule over here. So we gotta level up strength once, and then we can get pack mule over there. And you'll love to see it. And you guys can see our inventory has expanded a little bit. And given the fact I like to loot, that is a good thing to have. Oh my god, I hate to diagnose you with this, sir, but you have what appears to be... I think that's a parasite in your body. I'm no doctorologist, but ass looking sus, you know? Hello, reinforced chest. You are looking good! Dude, love to see it. Level 4 Iron Reinforced Club. You guys can see all the damages and stuff. That does 20 melee damage. That is by far and away our strongest melee weapon right now. We got some leather gloves. We could go in and wear that. Oh, man. Still no guns. But we are finding ammo for the future when we hopefully do get some guns established. You guys can see the timer. Oh, nice. We got some roids, baby. Oh, man. That'll actually come in really in handy. Because that means that if we ever have a lot of loot, that can actually boost our strength up a ton and our carrying capacity. And hello, let's go ahead and read up some of them uh, schematics that we're finding over here that will actually help us build some vehicles. That's enough. Oh, let's go. We got the lucky goggles, too. We got some clothes, baby. Things are looking good. Definitely going to take the sweatshirt over that. Yeah, man, we're actually finding some decent clothing. So there's two types of armors. There's clothing, then there's armor. Clothing gives you, like, cold and heat resistance. Armor gives you, like, death resistance. And, well, I like cold and heat resistance because we are in the desert. And honestly, there's all sorts of biomes we can run into. Winter biomes. <laughs> desert biomes. The whole shebang. And if I'm not... Oh, hold on. I almost forgot this tower. What up, dude? 
I know I gotta organize my toolbar here. I'll do that. <laughs> Hello! How you doing, zombie? Just, uh, yeah, please come over here. Boop! Nope, okay. Let's just, let's just leave. I wanna see if I can get him with a quick old hit. Come on over, buddy! Oh my god, he's just headbutting it. <laughs> what are you doing, you goofus? Oh my god, you're breaking the- Hey, stop! I think there's loot on that block! Oh, hold on. Stop yourself! Oh, hold on. I gotta equip some of these iron crossbow bolts. Yeah, and nah. Uh, we'll use this uh, melee weapon here. Yeah, yay! Ooh. Dude, this is gonna be a big pickup because already we're gonna be doing more damage. Morty backpack. Yeah, I wasn't expecting much. We got a jacket. I mean, I'll take it. I'll wear whatever. All of it gives us a little bit of heat and cold resistance. Always a nice bonus. So, yeah. Unless I'm potentially missing something. Yep. Well, that's hidden around the outskirts. We're almost done. Looting up this camp. Although we are officially over encumbered now. Our inventory went over. So now we gotta worry about the fact that. Well, we lose stamina faster. Also, oh, what up, dude? I didn't see you over there. But we lose stamina faster. And all sorts of jazz like that. I don't think we run slower yet. Maybe like a little bit. But for the most part, yeah, our stamina. Is just not gonna be bueno. Oh, nice. I knew we had to look around. We found another ammo stockpile. We got some 9 mil, baby. And okie dokie. I reckon there we have it. One military. Oh. And this. Whatever might be in here. Destroy generator? Eh. Nothing in there. Suitcase? Maybe? Cowboy boots? Alrighty. I'll wear those. Grab the lead fishing weights. And with our inventory, I kind of do want to... I don't know. Woo! Is it a coyote or a wolf? I think the coyotes are not as angry. Yeah, there's wildlife we gotta worry about as well. Some of them, like the bear. Or the boar. I mean, they're kind of derps. But they're not the biggest issue. There are also bears. Can't forget those. I heard a lot of footsteps, dude. What's going on? Okay, I think we're good. Oh, they got a pawn shop over there? Dudes. This is a really nice little starter town. We're finding a lot of interesting locations that I know for a fact are going to be loaded with some good loot. <laughs> oh! Not the vultures! No! No! My arch nemesis! <laughs> Woo! Dude, I have PTSD from those things. Me and the vultures do not get along. I tell you what. But alright. What I want to do is just kind of venture over here as far as we can. And I think I want to settle in maybe... I don't know. That building is looking interesting. What is that? A, hello. Oh, that's a zombie pretty far away. It always sounds like they're way closer than they are. Dumping lung coal mining. I mean... Uh, just rustling through grass. I don't know if that's... I mean, that'll be interesting to loot. I don't know if I want to exactly live there, though. Looking for a place that might be a bit more fortifiable. And uh, this is all wood. Looking for something with maybe a more powerful foundation. Oh, I hear you, Snicky Snake. How you doing, Snicky Snake? Oh, I missed. Come on. You are. Your head is in the ground. How am I supposed to do this? I. Ah! Oh, no. Woo! There you have it. Let's beat that butt to death. And from here? Yeah, I, I want. I kind of want to live somewhere around here because this is going to be one of the closer houses to where that is. The little trader. And there's not really any more houses this way. Ah. Oh! Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm thinking about the swigging serum, maybe. Maybe we post up there. This house, uh, I don't know about this house. This house looks like a little bit bigger. Well, why don't we go and clear this joint out? And we'll make this our uh, home here. We do still have a little bit of time to spare. I do hear some zombies. Sorry about the vandalism. I just know sometimes there are secrets hidden within. Is there someone behind here? Sometimes there is. No, no one behind there. Hey, what up, nurse? How you doing? Bye-bye. Knocked her dead. This just looking like a burnt down closet. I think this house had a little bit of a fire, you know. Probably from uh, nuclear bombs or something like that. Bit of a fire starter. I think most of the ruckus is coming. Yep. 
from the second floor. Let's open that up. I want that door, baby. Don't do that. That's oh no. Oh, she's raging. She's raging. Let's give her a little bit of room here. Calm down. Just calm down there, lady. Let me kill you. Thank you for your cooperation. I'll be sure to leave a five-star Yelp review just for you. After we clear this place out. Luckily, there wasn't too many zombies for us to take down. And it's not exactly the most defensible thing in the world. But it's a start. I just want to make sure that we got somewhere to hide for our first night. Maybe even we... I don't know. We could try to be proactive during the first night as well. But this... I'm marking it home base, baby. This right here. Let's just toss a little save a waypoint. Let's toss that little house. Uh, and... Uh, shack. That's what we'll call it, man. <laughs> That's all that this is, man. Definitely not going to be a permanent base. Wait. I, yeah. At... Mm, I did not realize that there were so many holes in the walls. I was too busy. <laughs> Regardless, whatever. Second floor. It's a foundation. It's a start. Maybe I can like parkour up to the roof and I could live up there. <laughs> Maybe? Oh, this thing over here. I, I, I can't scrap that. I can't really do anything with it besides drop it. Can I sell this? No sell price. All right. I'll just, I'll save it. I'll put it down at some point. Why don't we build a frame here? I don't know what that noise was I just heard, but I heard something interesting. <laughs> That's a cheek gun, actually. That might be cheek gun. And uh, I live on roof. Yes? Okay. I'm gonna... This, this is suspicious. Don't get me wrong. I'm just gonna go in. Hopefully just make a little, little hole here for me to put a chest into. Ideally, the house doesn't fall apart when I do this. And what would you know? The house stays intact. You love to see it. Let's craft up our first storage chest. Let's plop her down, and let's, uh, get to putting some of them goodies away. For now, we're not really organizing things, because uh, we're not really that far along in anything. <laughs> but, oh, hold up, we can bring these nuggets and stuff. When did we find these? I didn't even notice. But I'll take it. Yeah, dude, things are coming up Millhouse, so we'll put everything away. Besides the stuff that we explicitly want to take for protecting us. We'll take the bow, we'll take the bolts. Food-wise? How are we looking food-wise? Eh, not that. Show me the stats. And 102. Food, 124 out of 102. Water, 122 out of 102. So we're looking okay on that front. Just in case, I'll bring some band-aids, some medical supplies. Never know what goes down. Definitely the axe for actually breaking stuff. Um, these boots, we could sell these for a few bucks. I'm not really going to be using too much armor in the early game. And speaking of armor, I actually do want to take this armor off. Because that is just going to be weighing us down. But we could sell this for a few bucks here or there. I'm happy to make a... Trying to make a living here. See if we can't buy something off the trade or two. The roids I'm keeping. Ammo, that's all good. If you guys don't see, there's a sell price up in that upper right-hand corner. So I'm just trying to see... Advanced muffled connectors. Yeah, I don't really care about making noise, dude. I'll announce myself to everybody like announcing myself to all zombies everywhere. I have arrived except nighttime I would not mind being sneaky deaky during nighttime, but we got an inventory worth of stuff to sell and Let's bring a little bit of food just in case chicken soup. That's alcohol. Oh, no, no That's grain alcohol and some water and there we go. Our inventory is looking decent and we still have the super official stairway up into our house this isn't our house here. This is our basement. Our house is the roof. The house is the basement. And the basement's the basement's basement. Basementception, baby. Also, I should probably harvest these guys. We're not going to get a lot because we don't have the proper tool. For oh, did the snake despawn? I think it did. I'm going to say we could harvest him too. But yeah, we got to try and find a hunting knife if we can. That'll reap some nifty rewards. There's some loot scattered throughout the... Not drive, but I guess walk over to that trader. And then hopefully from there, that trader will be able to... Nice! We got a fire axe. Let's go. Already moving up in the world. Dude, that's going to help us with breaking down wooden objects. Big ups, big ups, big ups. Honestly, there's a lot of cars just scattered here out in the wilderness. Prime capitalization time, bro. I'm feeling like a million bucks with a capital M. And if bucks were worth... Not a lot. <laughs> we ain't that rich yet, man. But we got a steady little start here. 
We're finding some decent loot. Not that tin can. That was meh. Hold on. Let's definitely loot up that bird's nest. Just anything on the way over here. And luckily, our stamina is pretty nice. There's a road that way. I'm not going to explicitly follow the road. But I will try and keep it in sight. So I can see what's going on. But yeah, I'm really excited to get this series back underway, boys and girls. The first series was on a pre-generated world. This one's actually fully randomly generated. Which I think brings in some uh, fun shenanigans here there, to say the least. Oh, hello. Speaking of fun shenanigans, I'm finding uh, some fun little side locations here. Dude, this mountain might not even be a bad place to build our future home. Could you imagine? Just living on top of a hill. I'm the king of the hill, baby. <coughs> We're getting closer and closer to the trader, so... It's just good to know that he's not super far away. Because sometimes I've gotten really unlucky with trader spawns. Oh, hello! We got jumping jacks! These zombies are hoppity scoppity a boat top a boppity and all over the place. But yeah, I'm excited to get this underway. And I don't know, I really did want to start from scratch and really just want to keep up with it more consistently. Because with the last world that we were doing in Alpha 18, first off, that was actually in the pre-alpha for Alpha 18, or like the alpha, like it wasn't the full version yet. So some things were sketchy, and I don't know. I do just want to be coherent. I want to have a coherent adventure for all of us. And that's the plan. And there is the trader. And oh, that little burnt down home. I need to go and pay that a visit, but for now... Let's get over to the trader. I think there might actually be a town over there. I'm seeing a couple of buildings peeping through. Maybe we go and settle by that town instead. I'm not. Listen, like I said, that place over. Oh, that's a, is that a wolf or a coyote? They think that's a wolf. I'm bagging up. Dude, wolves are tough customers. No, thank you. Where is the entrance to this place? And is it away from the wolf? I got a feeling the answer is no. I think it's right by the wolf. Oh, dude, these footsteps are spooking me. Is that a frozen lumberjack? What are you doing, bro? Oh, no, that's not a frozen lumberjack. It's just a farmer. Okay. Let's lock ourselves in here. Whew. We can take a breather. Loot up. Nice, dude. The chemistry station schematic. Let's go. Just learn how to craft one of these back at home. Except one that isn't destroyed. That'll help us with creating medical supplies. Uh, and even some stuff for uh, bullets. He got, oh, he has a cement mix that's actually intact. Also really nice. Another fire axe. Bro, things are going well. These vending machine rentals, those are more for multiplayer. Let's go. We got the forge schematic too. That's huge. And luckily, these guys cannot break into this place. But all right. Our adventures have brought us here to Trader Joel. How you doing, Joel? Do you have any jobs for a lad like me? Well, actually a couple of them. Clear zombies a little, little ways north. That one's one of the closer ones. Buried supplies to the south. Why don't we go north? I'm in a bit of a quandary. Oh, Let's take it. I'll take I that one because that's actually where I saw that like second town. So we got a quest up there. We'll get some prizes for that. Now, what do you got in your inventory? Oh, the double barrel. Now, the last time I made the mistake of buying a gun from him before I found it pretty early on, just because I really wanted a double barrel. Not making that mistake this time. Instead, I'm just kind of looking through. Honestly, hunting knife early on would not be bad. For now, let's sell some nuggets. Let's sell the diamond. And maybe grab the hunting knife. It's basic, but it's good. Also, the lockpicks could help us break into some nice stuff. And for now, just get that hunting knife, man. I don't know when I'm going to find one that's going to really come in handy for uh, getting a lot of raw resources from the wildlife. So I'm down to grab that. Here in his secret stash, he's got some extra stuff. But nothing... Nothing that incredible, really. Ah, that one actually lets us resist better. That's pretty expensive. We can't afford that. It gives us better resistance to some of nature's elements, and... I can craft steel arrows with that. Firemen's do 10 more, 10% 10 more damage to coal and burnt wood. Eh, it's expensive though. I, I can't, can't exactly afford that at the moment. Alrighty, let's sell some of this armor. I know it hurts some of y'all to see this happen, but I'm not a big fan of armor, especially early on while we're trying to get our stamina skills to kind of catch up with us. Because really wearing that armor is just bad news bears. 
Especially if we're getting into an extended fight. You watch yourself out there. I'll do my best, Joel. Appreciate the concern you got for me. And I'm gonna run around just a little bit more. Because sometimes there are just like random loot things scattered throughout his base. Although his base just appears to be a glorified treehouse right now. Joel, I like it though. I'm digging the vibe. Digging the vibe. Man, with that said, with that done, I think that's gonna go to start wrapping it up. So, uh, this episode of Seven Days to Die. Nice humble beginning. Nighttime is approaching, so maybe we'll make our way back home. So we have at least some place to chill. But actually, at the same time, I don't really know if that matters. Because <laughs> it's not really much of a home anyway. Just a roof that I managed to finesse my way to. So we'll see. Maybe we'll have a dangerous nighttime. I'm just trying to be as productive as possible. But with that said and with that done, that's going to start wrapping it up for this episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. Thank you guys all the time for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.